always alerting, always tracking. This is Next Weather. All right, Ivan, you know I love my turtlenecks. I don't have it out just yet, but I got the right. sweater dress in preparation for a cold front coming through. Oh, I cold. sometimes <laughs> will break one out every once in a while. All right, 80 degrees. No, so we'll talk about why this uh, cold front's going to kind of peter out and really not going to bring us much in the way of anything refreshingly cool, right? Uh, which uh, most of us in South Florida call cold, uh, cold. 84 is what it feels like right now. It is well above average. 87 again today. It was, you know, uh, 89 was the record high. So we were two degrees close to that, and we were two degrees close to it yesterday and the day before that. And then, of course, we had some uh, tide records uh, over the weekend. So unseasonably warm, uh, we call it. As we uh, check in on X Radar Network, we'll talk about the temperatures. But first, let's uh, get rid of some of these uh, showers that we've been tracking here. Well, there's not much to track. This one shower over Opelaki here, Westview. Looking at that, it's just no movement there. It just kind of rained itself out. And that is one of the few spots. That's why when we're talking about 10% means 10% across uh, the region here. Everything then continues uh, to move towards the Atlantic and uh, not going to be much in the way of any rain. If you're stepping out tonight, I think you're in good shape. Upper 70s to 80 degrees right now. There's our front. You can see the temperatures. They're tumbling. Tampa 68, 60 Jacksonville, 50s already in Tallahassee. So what's happening? Well, we're going to get enough cool air to the north, and this front comes south, but the jet stream really not digging down. I don't see anything happening like that until the week after Thanksgiving, and then we may uh, talk some business here. But for now, as the jet stays to the north, the cold air, the coldest air, stays uh, well over Canada and over the northern tier of the country where it's been snowing as uh, we've been showing you the scenes there. Humidity change will impact this year, but look at this, just a quick little dip. Uh, it's kind of like day trading here, and then you go very humid from Friday all the way into the weekend, and there's a reason for that, and I don't think you'll like it. It's the same front that's going to slow down. It's going to lose steam, and then it's just going to decide to hang out across Florida Straits. Look at what one of our models is doing. This is the available moisture, and that's going to start streaming in. This will translate for you and me on the ground as a lot of cloud cover and some on and off showers through Saturday and particularly heading into Sunday. But the next few days will be OK. Just a little uh, shower here and there. And in fact, by tomorrow into Friday, I don't see much in the way of precip. That north to eventually northeast wind will get rather gusty. So it's going to be a breezy day for us on Friday. And then we'll set up for the uh, upcoming weekend as we start getting into some um, you know heavier showers and more persistent showers. No activity in the next five days. We got two weeks home stretch for the hurricane season. No threats uh, for Florida. Big area of high pressure now dominating uh, most of the uh, water out there. Upper 70s to low 80s for tomorrow. And then we'll keep it that way. No movement in the temperatures. We're getting rid of the record highs, but that comes with an extra dose of cloud cover here and also some showers. Again, there'll be more, I think, uh, widespread Sunday. And this pattern, by the way, continues into next week.